all right man long night long year long season and it's almost over <laughs> Man, can I just say, I just can't believe it's all over. I finished third at World Championships today, and I'm not mad about it at all. I walked away with the medal, and that was one of the main things I wanted, because it's, you guys, it's been a long year, a long season, and I'm just glad that I was able to get through it still on the podium. <laughs> of course, it's not where I probably wanted to be, and where you all would like me to be but I believe everything happened the way it was supposed to happen I'm very happy for um Gong and um Anita for their accomplishments they had an awesome season and um man I've never you know, I've never let's say I've been tired before but this is like one of the ones when I'm like listen I don't know how much more I have to give. Like, I've been definitely running on fumes. So, I think this, this for me, was more, more so, um, this for me probably meant a lot because I'm, like, running on empty. Because <laughs> after last year, I haven't, I didn't take a vacation. I didn't take a break. I kind of went from one thing to one thing to one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing. And the next thing you know, dang, like, the it's World Championships is here. And I'm like, I haven't had a break yet. I'm so tired. And to be able to still finish on top is, um... It's a blessing, like for real. Like God has definitely shown me some favor. I pray to ask for favor. Like Lord, I don't even have to be selfish to win. Like let me get on this podium. Thank you in advance. And he did that for me. So um, I just definitely want to say thank you, Jesus, for that. Because I know I couldn't do it because I didn't really have any more to give. But um, with all that said... I definitely want to say thank you to everybody who has definitely shown me some kind of love in any form or fashion and definitely for supporting me um, through this season. This has been an awesome season, probably one of the most mentally challenging seasons for me because being so tired is easy to give up and it's easy to let yourself slack, but to just... But just being able to hold on and to still keep pushing forward you know, that's, that's hard. And I was able to do that. So, um, my season's not quite over yet. I have one more meet left and I'll be in Zurich for that on August 25th. So I'm looking forward to that because that's always a great time. And, um, yeah, that's it. So my takeaway from this meet is, um, it's not over till it's over. I normally say that the competition, and I've said that when I came back on the last throw, but it's not over till it's over, meaning the season's not over till it's over. But until it's over, keep fighting, keep pushing, keep trying to improve, even when you're running on E, like those fumes still give you some energy. You know, like I know I'm not the only one where this happened, where you know you've been driving your car all day long, and you know you've been on E, and your car should have stopped, but for some some reason or somehow, like the fumes keep letting your car keep going. Don't act like it's just me. I know it's not. But you just grateful that you made it to the gas station before your car cut off? Like, that's me right now. So, um, I'm definitely going to enjoy the rest of my time here in London while I'm here at Worlds. I am going to definitely um, cheer on my teammates and see what else Team USA has in store for us. Because I know we have some great things coming. So, I'm very excited about that. So, um, yeah. So, thank you all so, so much. I'm just so grateful at this moment. And, um, yeah. Coming home with the bronze, my second world bronze medal. One day we're going to get that gold. I'm going to get that world gold. But until then, that's going to have to wait till 2019 or 2021. We'll see. But thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.